first thing I'm doing here is I'm sorting which staves I actually want to use and then I'm just marking center on them. They came three feet long, but the client wanted them 18 inches. So I'm marking center and then measuring it out. At first I thought the miter saw would be the easiest way to cut these to length, but I soon realized that was a terrible idea as once you start cutting through, it pinches the blade. I then moved on to just marking a straight edge and using the jigsaw, which worked out famously. I was racking my brain about the most efficient way to clean these things off. I settled on just taking them outside and hitting them with the power washer. That actually worked out really well. You can see here the difference. The charcoal on the inside doesn't leave any residue on your hands anymore. You can see here I'm utilizing an ancient Japanese technique uh, and manufacturing my own precision measuring device template. There's a slight wobble in each one of these. The easiest way to get rid of it is just marking where your high points are, then taking it over to a belt sander and knocking them down. You can see here I had to build a flat jig to go on top of my drill press. This is very important because as you're moving this piece and drilling all the holes, it needs to be level throughout the process so that your glasses stand vertically. I'm adding a 45 degree chamfer around all the top edges and then I'm gonna sand it, working my way up from 120 to 150 to 220. Using a dark walnut Danish oil, this stuff goes on pretty easy and looks really good on oak. Typically on these whiskey flights, you see the metal pieces that are bolted on the ends. These are the metal bands that are left over from the actual whiskey barrel. I didn't have those in the ones I ordered, so instead I plan on using thin pieces of walnut. After cutting my first piece of walnut, I realized that the grain direction didn't easily facilitate a bend, so I went back and cut some more pieces with the grain in the opposite direction. You can see how flexible these are, and they lay really nice on the curved barrel staves. Here I'm relying on the wood glue to be the primary holding agent and then using some CA glue and activator just to hold the ends down until the wood glue actually sets. Here they are with a clear lacquer finish. The last step is going to be pre-drilling some small holes and then just hammering in these decorative nails. This project was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed using these whiskey staves. If you guys want to do this yourselves, I'll have the link on where I got these staves in the description below. The ones that I used in this project were three feet long and they were the three inch wide ones.